Welcome back guys to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Berg and today for you we have the top 10 emotional YouTube videos. Now some of these are kind of happy sad, if you know what I mean, and some of them are just plain old sad sad, but whatever they are, make sure you do go and watch the actual videos after this one to get the full effect, otherwise it won't fully work. Think of this as more of a guide to YouTube's greatest tear jerkers and goosebump givers as we jump right into our number 10. So this video is about something a lot of us take for granted in our own lives, the ability to hear. And if you can hear, imagine for a second that you are deaf. Think how incredible it would be to hear for the very first time. Well, thanks to modern science, people like Sarah Sherman have now had that chance. Sarah was born deaf and in this video you're about to see, she hears her own voice for the very first time. Is it on? Can you tell? Wow, imagine actually hearing yourself for the very first time and your family and all your friends. I can't even imagine how intense that would be. Incredible stuff. Next up at number nine now, we have Markiplier. This is a video of him reacting to a fan video celebrating him reaching eight million YouTube subscribers. It was very emotional for him to see his fans get so emotional about him as they thanked him for cheering them up whenever they felt down. This is our reaction. It hasn't even started yet. What am I doing? And if you guys think the emotions couldn't get higher than that, well, think again, because Mark went on to explain just exactly why he's so emotional about it all. Some people in these videos, they don't have anyone else, and they turn to me and they turn to everyone else who reaches out in this community. Moving on to number eight now. This is a video from January 2016 where YouTuber Keemstar encouraged his followers to harass 62 year old Tony Winchester on his Twitch stream because Keemstar said he was a pedophile or pedophile, however you want to say it. Well, it turns out he wasn't. Yeah at all, and Keemstar had simply started a massive witch hunt against an innocent man. This was Tony's sad reaction. I don't want his money, I don't want his apology, because you know what, uh, I know who and what I am, and my real friends know who and what I am, and they stuck by me. Wow, we're going to try and not let that one dampen our spirits now, as we move on to our number seven, and we have a video from spoken word poet Neil Hilborn with his poem called OCD. Neil talks about how a girl came into his life who finally accepted his OCD and how he totally fell for her. But she loved it. She loved that I had to kiss her goodbye 16 times or 24 times if it was Wednesday. But then, for some reason, she started to distance herself from him and they eventually broke up. Now, if any of you guys thought poetry wasn't intense, then watch this emotional ending to the video. I just think about who else is kissing her. I can't breathe because he only kisses her once. He doesn't care if it's perfect. I want her back so bad. Next up now at the number six spot, we have a wedding video. Now they're almost always happy occasions, aren't they? Weddings should be a nice day. But for Andrea Stockton, her wedding day was also very emotional indeed. When it came to the traditional father and daughter dance, her dad was absent, having died of pancreatic cancer earlier that year. So her brother Nick announces that he has recorded the song Butterfly Kisses in honor of their dad and that they were all gonna take turns dancing with her, starting with her grandfather. All right, coming in now at the number five spot, we have a video from popular YouTuber, The Syndicate Project. He teamed up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to spend a day with Alec, a huge fan of his who had terminal cancer. They played games, they had dinner with the whole family, and even went in a cool helicopter ride over LA. I want it a wrap for the day. Did you enjoy the meal? The oh, helicopter? So, oh, so good. Sadly though, just six weeks after this video was posted, Alec passed away. This was Syndicate's response. Look at people so young get hit with such disgusting things in life because he was such a positive kid I really thought he would just like some miracle make it through and just be a champion for the rest of his life. Coming in at number four spot now we have Boogie's Draw My Life video. Ordinarily a Draw My Life video is generally quite a happy thing. I mean sure there are ups and there are downs but nothing too serious right? Well when popular YouTuber Boogie2988 posted his own Draw My Life video he shocked people by just how incredibly sad his life had been up until YouTube. Left me alone at the age of nine with my crazy, angry, depressed family, which really kind of sucked. And things only seemed to get worse over the years. It made me sadder than I had ever, ever been, and I really didn't know what to do with myself. So that Christmas, I made plans to kill myself. 
Now things eventually did get better, as you can probably tell, but to use the old cliche, it really was an emotional roller coaster and also a fascinating video to watch. Next up at number three, fans of Jacksepticeye will no doubt remember this video where he played a game called That Dragon Cancer. He described the game as incredibly powerful and moving, but for a lot of people, the saddest part in the whole thing came when he was exploring the hospital in the game and it reminded him of an experience in his own life. This is sad because <laughs> it reminds me of the the last few days when my granny was alive. <laughs> I was sitting right next to her and she didn't know who I was. Uh, that was really sad. Moving on to number two. This video was uploaded by Wicked Shrapnel back in 2013, where he announced that his good friend and popular YouTuber, Yote Slayer, had been killed in a car accident the night before. Now, usually when things like this happen, people tend to keep their emotions themselves, behind closed doors, away from cameras. But this video touched a lot of people by just how raw and open the emotion was, just less than a day after his friend was killed. A good friend of mine, Oh, I can't even say the words. We're finally at number one now, guys. You might have found one of these videos sad, but maybe not the next one. And perhaps your friend might think the total opposite. But one thing we can all agree on is animals are sad. Yeah, anything sad when it happens to an animal, it's a big no-no. So when Jason Wood shared his story online about his dog Odin, it's no surprise it went viral. Odin was Jason's dog who helped him in his darkest times when he first got out of prison. I'm crazy, but his he had like a, some universal job, like God gave him some job to do here and take care of people, you know? Eventually, Odin fell sick and needed to be put down, and hearing the story and then seeing Jason's last few minutes with the dog that helped him turn his life around is probably one of the most emotional videos I've ever seen. Your job's done your channel, okay? Now, I really can't do it justice, guys, so I highly recommend checking out Last Minutes with Odin on YouTube. It's only six minutes long, and yeah, bring tissues. All right, guys, that was our top 10 emotional YouTube videos. I'm a little bit drained from watching all of these, but hey, sometimes it's nice to experience the feels, isn't it? Sometimes it is nice. Well, guys, this is Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke, and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.